burglaries are on the rise in your neighborhood, and you have concerns about whether your house might be vulnerable. You have no surveillance system, so tonight you're placing some foil over the front door handle before you go to bed. This will help identify if someone sneakily tries to enter while you sleep. You wake up the next morning, and it appears the foil is slightly ripped. Someone has been here, and they're sure to return. Another option is to put a mug on the doorknob. When the knob turns, the mug will fall, causing a noise to wake you up and hopefully deter the intruder. Your main concern is that a tradesman stopped by recently. He said that he was working next door and asked to use your toilet. You refused and felt bad at the time for being rude, but it was a very smart move. About 60% of burglaries in the USA are made by someone you know or have met before. That tradesman, while going to the bathroom, could have adjusted something in your house to make their return entry a little easier. They may have wanted to take a closer look at what security system is installed, check the structural integrity of your home, and found out what valuable loot you might have. Finally, today you're going on vacation. You need to prepare your house and make it as safe as possible. A full post box is the first thing a robber will look for in a target. Your neighbor will need to take your mail while you're away. A well-manicured property is a clear sign that you are always there. You've always kept your lawn mown and hedges trimmed, so you will need to arrange for someone to do this while you're away. If it was winter, any untouched snow around your house would also make it a target. Having a neighbor make pretend footprints that show recent activity will also provide a deterrent. There are many types of hedges that act as a great first defense. Luckily, you have sharp-leaved shrubs along your fences. If someone jumps into your property and lands on a sharp or spiky bush, they will immediately cry out in discomfort. This will alert your neighbors of an intruder. And the foliage will also catch fragments of clothing that could be used as evidence later. In preparation for your trip the week before, you opened and closed your curtains at random times throughout the day. You made sure there were no clear patterns, so it won't matter if they're left open while you're away, just in case someone was scouting your property. Burglars spend several days walking or driving through neighborhoods, identifying the behaviors of each house. One thing they don't really like is a neighborhood watch. Criminals do their research before they start scouting and will avoid these areas, something for you to organize when you get back. Now, move all your expensive electronics away from the windows so there's nothing of value in clear view. Put them inside a cupboard or a concealed room. Don't worry about TVs. They're too large and take effort to move. The criminals are more interested in the smaller devices, like an iPad and gaming devices. Put your small expensive items, like jewelry, in boxes and hide them away in a secret location. Surprisingly, a kid's room is a good spot. Burglars have admitted to never going into them, as there's nothing of value in toys. Take photos of all the serial numbers on your electronic devices and create an inventory for insurance purposes. 95% of break-ins are done by force, so it's time to reinforce your windows and doors. You can make it even more difficult for the crooks. Remove all stools, chairs, and ladders in the backyard and put them into your garage. Otherwise, they will help provide easier access points to higher entrances, like the air conditioner box. This is one of their favorites. Without a way to reinforce it, it's easy to tear off and creates an entrance. Don't make it easier for them with a step up. Burglars can break down a weak door within one minute. Install a metal frame instead of wood for more support. The hinges and lock should have adequate strength to withstand being kicked long enough until they give up. With the lock as the remaining weak spot, this can easily be picked by an experienced thief. A simple protection lock that holds it in place 
we'll make sure it won't budge. The hinges on your garage door swing outwards, which makes it vulnerable and can be accessed by taking the pins out of the hinges. Replace them with tamper-proof pins so they can't be removed. And lastly, the garage overhead door is one of the first places a burglar looks to access. They don't have a lock that fully secures them. Attach a padlock on the latch connecting it to the track, holding it in place. Your garage door doesn't have this option, so drill a hole in the track just above one of the rollers and attach a padlock. Robbers are scared of dogs, the territorial and loyal guardians of the house. A survey found that most houses burgled didn't have dogs because thieves don't want to draw attention during a heist. Unfortunately, you don't own one, but just placing a dog bowl outside the front door will discourage them. The burglars have adapted their craft with technology. Four out of five criminals use social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Google Maps to find their targets. Even sharing a photo with a house key in it is enough for a burglar to create their own key by zooming in and taking the exact measurements. Make sure your wireless network is secure and use a new, much stronger password while away. You're not only vulnerable to physical objects being stolen. Valuable data like passwords and access codes can be taken through your network. And there's also the threat of infecting devices through malicious malware. You can also remove the vision of your house completely from Google Maps. Type in your home address, find the street view of your residence, press the options button, and select report a problem. You'll be taken to a screen with an image of your home, with the option to move a red square to cover your property. Request it to be blurred under the option My Home and enter your exact address. It will only take a couple of days to be processed. Don't leave the radio on while away. It won't help. Through the burglar's method of scouting houses, they take note of radio and TV sounds. When they return, they check if they're still on, which just makes it easier to confirm that no one's home. An alternative option to show active presence at home is by making your own audio, something that plays ambient noises randomly throughout the day, with footsteps, conversations, and a dog barking. Leaving your lights on is also not a good idea. Someone spying will notice your house easier, especially at night, and you'll be further robbed on your electricity bill. You're just about ready to leave on your vacation and need to take the trash out. If you have some large boxes, break them down so they can fit inside the bin. Hide any clues about what valuables you recently received. Last check, all the doors are locked and no windows are left open. Now you can finally enjoy your trip. But as you enjoy yourself in your picturesque location, leave any snaps on your phone while you're over there and post them online only when you return. If you do share your photos while you're away, it will have made all your preparations pointless. Every criminal in the area will know you're not home. But with 2.5 million houses burgled annually in the USA, a house without a modern security system is 300% more likely to be broken into. When you get back from your break, it will be a great idea to install one. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.